This is section 5-2. We're going to be talking about the difference quotient. Today we're going to find and simplify the difference quotient for polynomial functions. Now this concept is going to be visited later in this class, but for now we will use it as a way to practice function formation. Now for reasons that will be made clear in calculus, simplifying a difference quotient means rewriting it in a form where h in the definition of the difference quotient cancels out from the denominator. Once the h cancels out, your work is done. So you think of it in terms of like function notation as you're going to be plugging in values, simplifying, you know, all that different stuff. But the goal is once we've plugged in values, you want to simplify to eliminate that h. Now, given the function f, the difference quotient of f is this expression, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And so notice it's made up of these two f functions, and we have to plug it into this difference quotient, and we're going to eventually simplify, and you're going to see how this is going to cancel out with h. So there's our first example here. It says x squared minus x minus 2. Now notice in my, this is my f function with x as my input. So I should find my f function with x plus h as my input because that's the first part of this difference quotient here. And then the second part of this difference quotient is just minus f of x. So finding this f of x plus h, remember we have to think of this as like inputs. There's parentheses. So I have parentheses squared minus parentheses minus 2. And I'm plugging in this x plus h. Now simplifying it, this is FOIL, so this is x plus h times x plus h, which becomes x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now if I distribute this negative, I get minus x minus h minus 2. And so all of this right here, this is going to be what my f of x plus h equals. And then my f of x, that's just x squared minus x minus 2. So now that I have both of these, I want to plug them into my difference quotient. So my first is my f of x plus h. We said that that's x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x minus h minus 2 minus, now my f of x, that's x squared minus x minus 2, and this is all over h. So the goal here now is I want that h to cancel out. I want to cancel out that h. So now rewriting what I have, this can distribute. So I'm going to get minus x squared plus x plus 2. This is going to be all over h. And then over here, I have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x minus h minus 2. So now things that cancel out are going to be x squareds minus x and positive x, minus 2 and positive 2. And so I'm going to have 2xh plus h squared minus h all over h. So now, like I said, we want this h to cancel out. So notice there's an h in common with every single term on top. So factor out that h. The h's cancel out, and so I'm left with 2x plus h minus 1. I am done, because that h in the denominator canceled out. So the first thing that I did here, and this is, it helps to be organized, is I found and I labeled my f of x and my f of x plus h. So there's my f of x plus h. Okay, all I did was just as an input, plug in x plus h into my function. And then there's my f of x. Then step two, I plugged it into the formula. So this right here, this is my f of x plus h minus this is my f of x and this is over h. Then step three, I'm manipulated to cancel out what my h is. So all of this here, all I did was just manipulate the function. I distributed here, right? That's how I got this. The x squareds cancel out, the x's cancel out, the twos cancel out. All I did was just manipulate all this stuff to get that eight rid of that h. Here, because on top, there's an h in common with every term, I factored it out so the h's would cancel out, and so that's how I got this term here. Let's look at example number two. So the first step says find and label your f of x and f of x plus h. So let's do that. So my f of x plus h, it's going to be two. Now remember, we have to think of these as inputs. 
So x plus h squared minus 3 times x plus h minus 2. So now remember we said that this was FOIL, so this is 2 times x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 3x, because I have to distribute that, minus 3h minus 2. And then distributing this 2 with everything, I get 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared, and I still have the minus 3x minus 3h minus 2. So that's my f of x plus h. Then my f of x, just labeling that, f of x equals, that's going to be 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. So now step two, plug it into the formula. So my first part, my f of x plus h, that's going to be the 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3x minus 3h minus 2. And it says minus, now my f of x, my f of x is 2x squared minus 3x minus 2. And this is all over h. So now I can distribute this, so that negative 2 will distribute, and so I'm going to get minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 4. And all of this is going to be 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3x minus 3h minus 2. So now canceling everything out. So the 2x squareds cancel out, the 3x's cancel out, and the 2's cancel out. And so now I'm going to be left with 4xh plus 2h squared minus 3h all over h. Now there's an h in common, so factoring out an h. The h's cancel out, and so I get 4x plus 2h minus 3. And that's my answer. We'll look at one more. So the first step, it says find and label your f of x and f of x plus h. So your f of x plus h, remember we treat these as inputs. So that's going to be x plus h squared minus 4 times x plus h minus 5. So then everything being multiplied out, I'm going to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared distributing the negative 4, minus 4x, minus 4h, and then minus 5. And then my f of x, that's given to me with the function. Okay, so now plugging them in, the first piece is that f of x plus h. So that's going to be x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h minus 5, minus, now my f of x, x squared minus 4x minus 5. And this is all over h. So remember, we plugged everything in. That was step two. Now we have to manipulate this to cancel out h. So this negative will distribute. So I'm going to get negative x squared plus 4x plus 5. I'm going to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 4x minus 4h minus 5 all over h. So the negative 5 and the positive 5 cancel out, negative 4x, positive 4x cancel out, x squared and positive x squared cancel out. So I get 2xh plus h squared minus 4h all over h. And so factoring out an h, I get 2x plus h minus 4 all over h. And so my answer is going to be 2x plus h minus 4. And so that's my answer. Um, just a few things to note, when it comes to the polynomial versions of these, just remember that this, this f of x portion should cancel out with all the terms that are in here. So notice, this should have been a pattern that you notice, is this always canceled out. Let's look at an example two. See, these all canceled out. These all canceled out. So just make sure that when you go through this, just, at, just a, a way to check yourself, these should be canceling out. In closing of today's lesson, what did we learn today? Well, we talked about the difference quotient, and we kind of introduced what that means, but like I said, we're going to go more in depth of what the difference quotient is and how it's applied in calculus. 
and then what do we need to cancel out within the difference quotient so there was an important thing that we had to kind of get rid of when we did the difference quotient and so what is that value well this does conclude our lesson if you have any other questions please leave them in the comments